Hi guys, my name is Caesar, and in this video I will show you how to create a modern Titan using DaVinci Resolve. In this tutorial you will see some techniques like test animation, simple expressions, duplicate node and more. So it's a good opportunity to practice and sharp your skills. So let's start. Ok, so I am here in the Fusion tab, so first step is insert a background image. So let's open Media Pool and select a video. In this case I have this one that I downloaded, so let's see, I will connect and ok. So first I need to do here is, this video is too big, so I will click on Resize and now my video is Full HD. Ok, so let's close the Media Pool. So now I will add a test node here and I will type keep. I will change the font for something that I like more. And I will duplicate this node. So I will select and we press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And this one I will type working. OK. So let's connect these nodes. So I have this merge node over here. And I will disconnect and connect my resize on merge one. And connect the output. So this is where we have. At this moment, my video is covering the, the test. So I just click in the merge node and press Ctrl T to invert. So let's start to arrange the test right now. So I put, let's keep over here, maybe. Let's make this big. And working, let's make big too, over here. Alright, so this is the first step. So I will come here in transform and share. And the X value. I will change something like minus 0, 30 maybe. OK. And do the same here. Go to transform. And now I will add a simple expression because if I would like to change the inclination or how, how much italic this font have, I don't want to go back and change it in two places. So I want to change just in one place. So let's see. I will click on, on the top, right click and set expression. So here is a nice tip. When you work with expressions, if you're not sure how you're typing, just take a look in the left corner. They have the all information you need. In this case, they are given exactly what I need to type. So I will put test one because it's the test that they have that I would like to refer dot and now I will just copy our here in this case character share x that's it and it's done so now if I change here I don't need going two places this is the, the idea so let's say something like this okay so for the test two, I will go to shading and here in appearance, I will change to test outline and let's make some adjustments. Perfect. Uh, the test one, let's change the color. And make the size a little bit. Now let's make this little adjustments here. Let's see. Let's go back to transform. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. Okay, so now let's put all this test on the top and create more space. And let's add a background node here and add a ellipse or a circle. 
So I will make the circle very small, something like this. So, and for the background, I will just copy the same red, and I will connect the background to the merge node. So now for this dot here, I will create more space and I will select the background node and control space bar and type duplicate. Okay, and I will put six copies and center X, I will make some space, something like this. So let's put this something here. And now we have some more interesting element here. I will create a little bit more space again and I will insert another duplicate node. And this time it's just two copies and the eye position I will turn down and make some space, something like this. So, okay. So I click in the ellipse again and make this fine adjustment. So this is the first element. So I would like to duplicate these elements maybe over here. So all what I need to do is select everything, Control C, Control V, and connect to the merge node. So I will just grab and place them wherever I want. In this case, I will just try a line here and push down, maybe here. And let's change the color to white. So, okay, so now I have this composition that is looking good to me. So let's keep moving. So uh, maybe just go a little bit top. Yep. So let's keep it moving. I will select everything here in the bottom, make space, and now I will create a, just a rectangle on the bottom. So, background node, I will copy the same color, you connect here, and take a rectangle and connect. So let's do something like this. And I'll just place it here in the border. Maybe, maybe here. Here we go. Also, I will duplicate this node again, this, this rectangle. So Control C, Control V. I will connect and now I will change the background to white. I will select the rectangle and make this very small, something like this, almost like a line. There we go. And let's place this position. So, uh, look is good to me. Uh, another thing that I would like to do here is create some texture uh, that cover this image. So, let's do it right now. So, let's create more space, more room here. I will create another background node. This one will be white. And I will create a polygon. Just add a polygon here and connect. And let's do some lines here. Okay. Here and here, just in the corner. Perfect. So let's connect. Let's go back here and make it more visible. So 
something like this looks okay uh, also I would like these lines behind the test so you click in this merge node and press ctrl T so it's inverted now I will select the background node and I will add a duplicate node and for the copies let's say 100 and let's come here in center X and let's move okay, something like this there we go okay let's return to the polygon because now it's it's almost covered everything so it's too much so let's click in level and let's turn down I just wanna like a like a texture. There we go. So now looks better to me. Uh, for the image in the background for the video, uh, I would like to do is change to black and white. So I will click in resize. This is the last node here. Control space bar and we tap color corrector. Uh, just color and you select color corrector and I will change the saturation to zero so basically now we have our decomposition uh, let's play see what's happening okay so let's animate this title so let's make it more interest go to the top here let's take a test one let's say frame 20 let's click in layout and let's create a keyframe now let's go to frame 0 and let's take this x value and let's move to the left okay so it's linear for now I will click in spline select displacement so I will press ctrl A to select and I will press S so now I will just take this handle here and make my adjustments. Okay, looks better. Now let's animate the test two. So I came here, go to layout, I will create a keyframe and let's move to the top something like this and let's go to framing let's say 25 and let's return to the position the same I will click here ctrl A to select everything and press S now make the same adjustment and let's play okay so now let's create a mask here in this merge node I will create a rectangle let's press F2 and say and change the name to text mask and connect it will be and just put just here on the top I will move to the top now I would like to do is I will click in the merge node go to settings and select apply mask inverted and now you have our animation okay so it's working looks great let's return to the background here the, the video that we have and let's click in color corrector and maybe let's take the contrast a little bit more just for make more dark hmm. something like this so we can see better okay so let's play again yeah 
So at this point, we are almost done here. How you can see, it's very simple to create these titles. So the idea is play with the duplicate node, insert like these uh, lines, circles, create some more elements, and all of this will make our title more interesting, right? So here we are. If you want to make this a little bit more interesting, we can can here in the color corrector. Let's make a little bit more space here. And let's insert a grain. So here we have, but looks too much, of course. So let's change the power to way less. It's just a little bit. And here we go. We finished this animation, we are done. How you can see, uh, it's very simple to create these nice animations in Fusion. So Fusion is not super scary, so we just need practice. So I hope you liked this video, and if you like it, please subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. Uh, I can create more videos showing uh, different titles animation uh, Maybe we can practice more together. So let me know. Okay. Bye